Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, all right, so let me get to the right spot. My husband and I are in the process of and have been for the past few months trying to um, figure out what church we should go to as a family. So we have been going to, to churches like consecutively for, you know, like six years and then like one or two years here and there and then like four years. Um, for this last one and you know there's just something just kind of stirs within one of us and we're sort of like hmm, i don't know and it's not so much like a oh like uh let's go see what you know better child care what music they have somewhere else but it's like an actual like stirring we feel like in our hearts you know from god and so we try to be obedient to those and and his promptings so so we're in this like church shopping season in our life which is you know not fun for anyone who's done it before and yeah we know that we can go online and like read everyone's like you know biography pages and their mission statements and everything like that but for both of us we're more you know we want to physically feel like do we feel the presence of the holy spirit like how you know just that feeling of of god you know is god leading us there because we felt that before in churches and we have felt his like no this one's not for you before too. So um, the scripture that comes to mind in a heart is um, that trust in the Lord. Oh, sorry. So I'm switching it from the Amplified. This is the King James Version. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not onto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. So that's Proverbs 3, 5 to 7, the King James Version. So, um, yeah, we we don't want to do it our own way, right? Like we, we want God to be the one that leads us into that. So as, as far as, you know, like we have friends and things like that that are like, oh, you know, like, you know, we believe in going to church where, you know, they preach the Bible or we believe in, um, you know, going where it's all about worship or like, you know, what's the prayer? Like, oh, okay, well, what about childcare and all those different things? And we've been there too, right? And we're not, we're not casting judgment on anyone. We're just saying that we have done it those different ways. And, you know, after walking with God for this long, like once again, like I said in my last video, where it's like, you know, what if we let God lead on this also, right? Would there be, you know, like, let's just see what happens kind of thing, right? And so for us also, another thing I want to just put out there is that, you know, we're not just kind of going by scriptures that sort of like, okay, well, does this kind of, um, you know, answer people's question when they ask us like, okay, that oh, you know, we're trying to, to just uh, not rely on our own understanding. We're trying to give it, but it's not a cop out by any means. It's like, that's the actual heart, like our heart's posture towards God at this point. It's like, we submit to you, God, in this big decision. Because for us, church is not just a Sunday thing. Like it is part of our life. The people who we attend church with are become our family members. Like it's, um, and it doesn't really matter, you know, if we move buildings or whatever, like, certain people just come you know like family you know we just stay connected it's not like they need to come with us we just stay connected so it's not just a sunday thing you know we believe in truly being involved in, in all of that and um the more i walk with the lord i realize that that church isn't really about you know like what can i get out of church okay well what's the pastor saying what does you know what is the everyone you know doing and and everything like that it, and and what's what's the worship like and all those different things that i used to think right it's I feel like the more I walk with God now, he's showing us that, you know, it's not about you. It really never was. But, uh, you know, as you were growing, okay, yeah, you needed these certain things or whatever, right? So I brought you to those points. But now as you're maturing in your faith, okay, well, I, I want you to serve too. Like, don't just be thinking about yourself all the time. So we're like, okay, God, we'll serve. So, you know, we serve, we serve, we serve in different capacities as he leads us. Um, and then now it's almost like, okay, well, you know, there's, there's some balance to be had there, right? You can't just be serving. You can't just be just, you know, a spectator, but like now let's find some balance in there. And so, yeah, it has been like quite a few months and, you know, we just continue to, to go to God and, um, and every church that we've gone to, it's been a, a new experience, a new sort of journey. And, you know, my husband's like six, three, and we have three kids. Like when we walk in, like there's no just sneaking in the back, right? Like I'm little, he's tall. I'm like brown he's white like our kids you know like there's just a herd of us when we walk in so people always notice that we're new there and everything and it's not comfortable for us like and we're not doing it you know for 
are fun. Um, dragging our kids around to different Sunday schools and everything like that is not something that's a goal in our lives. Um, but we feel in this season that it's just necessary, right, for us all to experience things. And, you know, we we listen, you know, to their input and their feedback. And, you know, they sort of hate some places and they really like some places. And, and we're like, okay, well, that's good. But at the end of the day, it's not about how we feel. It's not about how you guys feel. It's just, you know, where does God want our family? Because we are influencing other people around also like not only is the pastor and the congregation having an impact on us but we are also impacting other people and so we don't want to take that decision lightly um so yeah we are just trying to submit that to god and you know it's a little bit awkward and everything like that and and we're hoping right that we will get planted somewhere soon um but you know if none of it has been in vain like we look back at the different experiences we had and we run into some like you know church members that we used to attend with and so that was an awesome just reunion and there's some churches where you're like oh man like there's some crazy stuff going on there but you know like you know it's not for us to judge at the same time right like they're whatever um, being moved in the spirit or something's going on there for them and and that's where they're at right um so yeah and there's some that are just sort of like you know this is how they worship right it's just standing there and so you know and i've been part of churches like that too so i mean it's just kind of interesting to see you know the the body of christ and how unique it is depending on the different you know place you're at and and uh yeah things like that so that's where we're at and i just think i just want to encourage you you know if you're in that season um the conventional thought that like you know that you have to do it this way or that you kind of you know you know should decide or whatever like i don't know what if what if you just ask god about it right like because i never thought of that before i was sort of like oh that building looks interesting or like oh i heard that they have great child care right but what if we just said to god like god where do you want us to go because you know even let's say there's a place that's like oh you know they don't preach the the word there but what if god wants you to be the one to go there and to to say to the pastor lovingly like you know are you washing down the word a bit like is there you know, some raising up or some, um, you know, correction or something that God wants to do through you if you're a mature believer, let's say, right? And so, you know, of course, it's easy in our, you know, in North America, right? There's like a hundred, like hundreds of churches as options, right? We don't live in these persecuted countries where we were doing secret church and everything. So we have all those options, but I think then even, then we should be that much more diligent in making sure that we are where God wants us to be planted for however long that season is. So, yeah, I'll just leave you that and hopefully, um, you know, God stirs something in you and just just pray about it. Right. You know, God is he's true to his word. Right. When we ask for wisdom and we seek him, he will meet us there and, and he will surprise you. I think he surprised me lots of times. So um, don't forget that the God of love loves you. Bye.